Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new playthrough, um, which as everybody's been shouting at me to do Horde Factions repeatedly, I'm going to be doing a Horde Faction, this is another one of the OVN Lost Factions, we are going to be playing the Grudbrin Grudge Bringers, which are an Empire Mercenary Company. So, wide selection of rare and powerful legendary mercenaries. Servants of order cannot declare war on empire states, Bretonia kingdoms, and Dowie realms. Roving camp, which grows with the mercenaries' reputation. Ooh, lots of upkeep, however. Uh, basically, good relations with all the good guys. Uh, minus 10 attrition. Ooh, grotty replenishment. However, our lord, Star Lord, gives us, obviously, really nice buffs. We start with some Grudgebringer infantry, a Grudgebringer cannon, and Grudgebringer crossbows. And the general mechanics, hireling wizards harness multiple laws of magic to bolster them. Uh, Imperial reinforcements can gift newly conquered territories to the Empire in return for ne reinforcements. That sounds nice. And powerful but expensive mercenary units uh, make up this unit's diverse roster. You can also only have two legendary lords, I believe, from looking at it. I don't know how lawful the Grudgebringers are, so... By all means, give me one of those lore dumps you guys regularly do down in the comments, guys. Um, okay, so after their victory over the Black Grail and the Hand of Nagash, the time has come for the Grungebingers to face the Dread King. Volkmar the Grim, Grim has tracked down the Dark Lord to the the Dark Lord to the Black Pyramid, a place of evil. So basically, we have to go and take out the pyramid. The, the Black Pyramid is our, our endgame goal from the looks of that. Uh, with the support of the Emperor, yeah. Our mercenary regiment is going to gain glory. And of course, we will uh, be uh, courting friendship with all of the Empire States by throwing them shiny, shiny units, guys. If we ever load in. This is on my SSD. Uh, this is a very modded bit of content, guys. Uh, mods all linked down below in the description, by the way. Really worth checking out the Lost Factions mods. As you can probably tell, I'm really enjoying them because I've been playing a hell of a lot of them recently. I think this is my fourth or fifth campaign with them at the moment. I've got two others going. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I lost sound for a second there, but we're good. Uh, mission issued. Defeat the following army in battle. Warlord murder of the servants of the Mirland. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a mercenary contract. A lot of stuff we get is mercenary contracts. So, you know, we're a mercenary company. Available contract one, 7,200. Uh, destroy him, 1,700. And defeat him, 6,000. Uh... Numas or there. Uh, we start down in the southern badlands. But yeah, so we've got some good starting positions. Um, I'm not actually a war of anybody to start with. I am, however, instantly taking attrition. Yay! And obviously we are a horde building. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. In defensive battles, I get uh, war wagons to assist me. And we've leveled up straight away. Uh, we start with the Grudgebringer Sword, which is a nice magical wet fire uh, and gives us the uh, a breath ability, mercenary training, weapon strength and speed, or buffing the army. We're going to go for army buffs to start with, but obviously movement is one of the first things to do. Raiding is always good. How much... So I can, I need 25% left to raid. Pick up the pace. Though actually I probably want to dig in so I can, I, I can't actually do that much. This is a very hard start. So tithe, growth and public order. I'm assuming that's going to be... Horde growth there, so yeah. Colonial Fort. Casualty replenishment actually is going to be a good thing for these guys. Because, as we have seen, they uh, already have negatives to replenishment. So yeah. We're going to go for Morgheim first. Um, I see what they mean by it's a very hard start position. Because I've got contracts. I'm not at war with anybody. 
It would be nice to have somebody for an easy first victory. And I've, I've yet to learn exactly how recruitment works. I suspect a lot of it is I'll be able to get basic... In fact, let's have a look at that this turn. So, yeah, you go. Defeat the Dread King. That's the, the main mission. Okay. Ah, right, capture all that. And we'll be joined by Agus, Asgar, Asgur's Blood Fist. He sounds dwarven. Capture or occupy the following settlement. There we go. Right. So, yeah, I only get very basic units from a lot of this. Oh, ogres, though. Halfling rangers. Cool. Darkness. But capturing there is not going to be easy, if I'm honest. Uh... Ooh, I can upgrade these guys. Give them heavy armor. That is a hell of a lot of armor. They've got decent leadership, so... Plus 40 armor. Good God. And grudge bring crossbows. I can't afford to upgrade them. Soon, I'll be all powerful. Hmm, what's the garrison there? Like, you see, that's the problem. That is quite a big force straight away. To strengthen the empire, this will bolster the nation. I see what they mean by it's a hard yes, start. Um, praise Sigma. By Sigma's right, to strengthen the empire. Hmm. This will bolster the nation. Step I'm actually going to pull back this way for now. I, I, I need them to leave there. I don't want to be fighting. I want to take there. But at the same time, I don't want to be fighting them. Wow. Yeah, this is tricky. Uh, move any character to this province. Okay. So? Let's head south, because we've got a mission down here as well. I can always come back to that guy. Ah, there we go. There's somebody to attack. Just to get some glory, to blood my troops, and to work out how we are. I could be wrong. I could have easily taken more time, but... Uh, I think we're going to move in towards Floating Village. Uh, I suspect that's held by the Vermeer, which I'm, I didn't realise you can't see straight away. To the provinces. Onwards. To battle. So, yeah, let's move in to have a look at this village and see what's going on here. Yes. Yes, I am being very wussy and very careful, guys, but I feel I kind of need to be. I, this is a definitely, a, it's a meant to be a very hard start. I like the fact I'm straight up allied with the Empire, but yeah, this is definitely an interesting start. I would have liked an easier start, if I'm honest. Oh, wow. The Leafcutter's tribe took that right in front of them. See, they've got two goddamn armies already. Enemy revealed. Cancel move. There we go. So yes. It is time. By Sigma's right, we must fall back. I basically need to keep moving until I can find somebody nice uh, with a nice soft belly to attack. Somebody nice and squishy, guys. Cause yeah, God basically is my current stance of this is an insanely hard campaign from the looks of it, which is good. I kind of like that, actually. <clears throat> um, that said, I may need to... Um, I need to do something, otherwise I'm going to really struggle. The Bray Herd comes. Oh, no. Yes, my lord. 
on march. Let's head down here where it did give me a mission. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. I can potentially have a go at them and get some Empire settlements what? down here. I'm not sure what buffs to ports will help me. I don't think this tech tree is for this faction. <laughs> Again, we are playing modded playthroughs, guys. So I know this isn't completely done yet. There are still some updates, though this faction is pretty much done. So obviously, I've just got to work out what works and what doesn't. Um... I've not played this at all, as you can probably tell, and I'm actually quite happy to do it like this, because it's always quite fun to... No. It's always quite fun to jump into these things when you don't really have, an, have a full idea of what's going on. <laughs> Why would I give that troll some money? Ah, there we go. Paymaster Dreyfus Caravan. I've been approached by men seeking work, my lord. I have noted their credentials. In the troop roster. I can gain one hired mercenary unit. Uh, gain some replenishment. I can't follow it. Or refuse. I gain nothing. Hired mercenary. We are gained one regiment of renown. But I actually gained two. So, oh, Agus Bloodfist's dwarf warriors. Uh, led by Agus Bloodfist. I thought I had a mission for him anyway. It's quite a nice unit. Um, and some Ankelti Fellowship. Armoured, anti-large. I'm going to grab both of those. To strengthen the Empire. Moving off. Oh, of course they got down there. I will marshal the men. This will bolster the nation. Yeah! This is an interesting start. That is the show. <laughs> um, I need to expand. I need to take some villages out. I need to take some territory because otherwise things are going to get fun. Um, the gods are angry. Angry gods. I honestly don't care. That's held by one of the um, Araby lords. It is for the best. God damn. Yes, a sound plan. Definitely an interesting start. That is for sure. Which is quite fun, but at the same time, a bit... Whoa. If I'm honest. I can see why they have a very hard... Uh, I'll put down as having a very hard start. Okay, I'm going to head in there to try and have some fun with the Skaven. This is possibly very, very foolish of me, but we'll see how it goes. Or I could have gone straight for Numas. To strengthen the Empire. Hmm. This is either going to be a fact. This is going to be like a lot of horde factions. I'll either do what you'll eat. I'll either get get past the start or I will just get shredded. Yes, I will pay them off for now. I'm not even sure I can declare war on them if I'm honest, the Araby factions, so. It is for the best. Yes, a sound plan. I want to go have a look at them. No, of course they got them are. I need somewhere to attack, guys. I'm going to go poke for Skaven, which is potentially one of the most suicidal things I can possibly do. Um, 
Actually, over here, the other side is generally quite fertile ground for mercenary companies to do, to work in. Basically, I'm just not goddamn big enough yet. The nation calls. Yeah, none of these texts are helping me. There is every chance the Skaven may just jump on me here. There we go, but we've got this uh, Cedric the Lone Ranger, Imperial Troops. Capture the following settlement, Karsabar. Oh god. Well, bugger. So these are our main quests. But. Cedric the Lone Ranger, individual unit. So he's basically a hero unit, but act, put in as a unit. Um, really good, solid damage, dodge. Really high melee defense, really high melee attack. So yes, actually he's a fairly solid unit. Who can be buffed? Crafted heavy armor, there we go. I mean, why I wouldn't want be wanting heavy armor is beyond me. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done an aggression pack with these guys, but again, I'm not really powerful enough, to, powerful enough to do much. I suspect I'm not powerful enough to take on here, but I'm definitely powerful enough to go and look at it, see what's there, and work out if I can take the Skaven on here. Who calls? Not that it actually affects us. My Sigma's right. Moving off. Enemy revealed. What a surprise. Strike like snake. This will bolster the nation. I'm gonna head to this one. Um I do want to fight. This, potentially fight the Skaven, but I want to fight the Skaven on my own ground because they are nasty to fight actually. They can get that ambush off, which as a horde faction means that I am incredibly vulnerable to them. But I want to start giving the Empire goddamn territory to get units and get money. Um, at the moment we're kind of just wandering around the world going, Wee, you know, twiddling our thumbs. Which is probably not the best thing for us to be doing. And Silver Host has been destroyed. To strengthen the I did say over here is always good to poke. Right, don't want to attack instantly. I want to see what's here. Oh, god, god damn. And you see, that's why I don't want to attack instantly. Sorcerer yes, yes. On march. Let us move. We march. Bring me Neferata's head. There looks ta like a tasty target, though. Um, she is Tomb King. I have no desire. I am not forced to be friends with her. It looks like somewhere ripe for plundering that's just been taken, but I can always throw it towards an Empire faction, give it to the Empire. Uh, and yeah, I can keep them myself, but I don't think I really gain much by keeping settlements myself. It's something we'll have to work out as this goes on. Right, do a quick save first, because this is a bit cheeky. Call my allies to help. There we go. <laughs> and I am going to fight this. I did have a banner I could have equipped, simply because I want to see what this is like. Um, what these units are like. Even though this is a teeny, teeny force, I'm not particularly worried. We've got a High Queen herself there against Commander Bernhardt. But I'm not overly worried. And obviously the Lone Ranger. Um, a lot of buffed up units as well with all of their extra armor. I'm quite happy. Let's have a look at our units. So we've got the Caraburg Great Greatswords, which will be exactly what we think. Noble. He's an elf. Of course he is with that name. Our weapons are yours. 
Okay, I like them. They look they look thunky. We've got some flagellants. Some spears. They are definitely from the Southern Realms mod. And our cannon. Our flagellants can just get thrown in somewhere. Oh, he's... I hadn't even twigged. He's not... Oh, he's cavalry. He isn't... My lord is not an individual unit. Is not an individual hero. He is an actual whole unit. At speed. No lingering. Oh god, why, 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 why? Don't stay there! Good god, you idiots. Okay, my crossbow should start up now. Guys, turn around and shoot them, please. My dwarven warriors can get behind. You guys, all that way, please. Onto there. Protect the cannon. This is already over. We took some damage there, not overly worried. My crossbows can move out, you guys can all hit that. Move forward. 15 kills isn't bad, considering he's not been doing much. Leader herself, and this is just a quick zerg through now. Well, these are led by an ind by a special dwarf. I like the fact that a lot of these units are led by people, which is quite interesting, quite a cool way of doing it, actually. And of course, being Tomb Kings, we utterly wipe them out, which is always good for a bit of experience. We will give this to the Empire. Yeah, this settlement will become the empires, and yeah, we are now in a reasonable position to expand. Yeah, we've got ourselves a little slot in the world to expand from to start with. Grow ourselves. I do need to grow myself, so that's the key thing now. And, and creating empire settlements potentially gives us some defences. Um, I can see why these are a very hard start, guys. I am on hard hard, and I'm going to stay on hard hard, but good god. Yeah, I mean, we did well there, but that was a e relatively easy battle. Um, and we've expanded quite a lot already, so yeah. It's going to be fun. We'll have to see how this goes. But my guys all did well. My great swords massacred, as you'd expect, and they, the spears did very well. Ah... Uh... So, high chance of reinforcements from the Imperial State troops and mercenaries. Diplomatic relations and things. I gained, gained some money. I could just sack it for money. I think tribute to the Empire. 
There we go. Ooh, tr troubling the Empire. There are no reinforcements, but they gave me some gold? The the yeah, they gave me some gold instead. I am tempted to go through that, because obviously buffing his unit as well is really good. For gold! Increases the upkeep. <laughs> we gain extra from everything else. That's interesting. Pistol core. I can only take one of these off for greater glory. Uh, oh, interesting. So reduces upkeep. Mmm. Or for gold, which increases upkeep, but we get more from doing stuff, which is the long run. For now, I'm going to have a think on that, because they are really cool. Um, for now, we're going for mercenary training, but yeah. For gold, I suspect is probably the better one, while it makes us more expensive. We shouldn't be, you know... Um... We should be on the move, constantly attacking. Well, that's good. The 15% reduction is good. We get far less income from doing it. So I think for gold is probably the way we want to go, guys. Um, Yeah, there we go. That is where we're going to leave it, though, for today. I don't know why I'm zooming out. Uh, so, yeah, in interesting faction. We'll be continuing to play these for the next two, three weeks. Uh, we'll see how they go. Suggestions are more than welcome. I'm probably going to have rec recorded a few episodes before you see the first one of this. Well, we'll see. I might drop it early. We'll see. Um, but feedback and suggestions are more than welcome, guys. Other than that, as always, a massive thank you to everybody for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe for more, guys. Um, and check out for more. It's the Lost Factions mods are awesome. I highly, highly recommend them. Link down below in the description. Massive, massive thank you to my patrons. You really do help make all this possible. Uh, link to my Patreon down below in the description as well. As well as a link to my... Oh, you can hit join here on YouTube. does the same thing. That's everything, guys. Other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, all.